Hello YouTube, this is Jean and welcome to CryptoPix. I'm sorry for taking so long to do another video. I've been super sick, stressed out, and just life has been happening. You can probably tell by my, by my voice that uh, I'm sick. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm going to talk about the market and about which coins I'm going to buy once the market dips even further. First, we need to look at the sats of every coin that we're deciding to invest in and not the dollar sign. In another video, I talk about how the dollar sign can be super misleading and we do not want that to happen here. First, we're going to look at OMG. Everyone knows about this coin. Right now, it's at about 222,000 sats. If it hits under, for me personally, 175,000 sats, I'm going to jump in. But 200,000 sats is still a pretty good point to jump in. The all-time high is around 300, it looks like. Yeah, about 303,000 sats. So that's a, that's a pretty good profit to be made by this coin. And we both, and all of us know that OMG has a brilliant future ahead of them. This coin could be one of the big ones. So it's just finding the right time to jump in. And it looks like it could be coming up. Next coin I'm going to talk about is NEO. So NEO, I'm looking to buy if it hits under 400,000 sats, which... It hasn't been close to there for a while, so that's probably going to be around like $13, $14. If it hits that, then I'm going to jump in. The all-time high, we're looking at about 112,000 sets when it hit like $48. I'm sure it went a little higher than that. I'm just going off this graph. NEO seems from recent posts I've seen on Facebook and news about NEO that it's going to, going to be able to surpass China's uh, FUD. And so I still think this is going to be a good coin for the future. And if you find a good buy-in point that you like, like I said, uh, a little under 400,000 sats for me, then it's great time to buy. If you don't get in there, then it's not a big deal. There's a bunch of other coins you can jump in. The next coin, and it's actually my new favorite coin, is 0x. So 0x is at 4,900 sats right now. Had a bit of a dip. I actually did not think this coin would hit under 5,000 sets. So uh, this is kind of a love-hit relationship right now. I have a good amount of money invested in this coin. My average is probably around 5,500 sets, maybe a bit less. So I'm looking to buy, though. I'm going to buy. I'm trying to hit around 25,000 uh, 0x or ZRX, and, and that's a... I still got a long ways to go to get that. But if it hits under 4,600 sets, then I plan on jumping in a lot. Uh, there's a huge sell wall on Poloniex. I don't have it open right now, but on my block folio, I saw that there's a huge sell wall at six, four, four, six, five, one sets with a buy order of about 133,000 coins. So I don't really think it's going to surpass that. So uh, if it looks like it's not and it's kind of hovering around there, I'll probably buy uh, a little bit below that. Maybe 46, um, 4652. <laughs> so it's still super cheap. I, I mean, this coin's all time high was 53 cents at 13,000 sats. That's what, like three times gain? Two, two and a half times gain? And that's just all time high. I expect this coin to be amazing in the future. So, I, I mean, even if it's this all time high, I wouldn't sell. But I expect this coin to take off and be a huge money maker. It's just trying to find, again, the optimal buy point. Um, and again, like I said, this is my favorite coin, my new favorite coin that I plan to hold for, for a long time. The next one is DNT, District 0X. This one I don't actually know too much about, but I'm actually getting super interested in it because of just how far it's dropping. So DNT almost hit under 900 sats earlier. It's at 975. But if this one hits under, since it's been kind of staying around three cents, if it hits under three cents, um, like 800 sats, maybe 700, I'm going to go a huge amount inside this one also because I do think this one will hit 12 cents again in the near future. 12 cents, at least back in the day, was what 
about 3,000 sats. That's that's three times gain, almost four times gain easily off this coin. If it hits its all-time high, which I think was 25 cents over 6,000 sats. I mean, do the math there. 6,000 sats, 800, working at almost eight times gain. That's a huge return. So uh, I, I'm going to do a little more research on this coin to make sure it's a good buy for the future. And I mean, since it's super cheap, and even if it hits at 12 cents, that's a huge return. I, I do plan on putting a lot of money into this one if it hits that 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 two cent range. Right now, it's not even at a bad price either, but it seems to just keep dropping every time I want to jump in. I had a set point when it was around six cents. I was like, oh, if it hits four cents, I'm going to jump in. Then it hit four cents. I'm like, okay, maybe not yet. Then it hit three cents. Now I'm like, oh, God. so I'm in this like, I don't know when to buy in point yet. My next coin, my final coin. And one of my favorite coins is InvestFeed. So InvestFeed, I signed up a couple, a couple days, a couple weeks ago. I'm assuming maybe a week ago. And I, I really like it. They have really updated this website, like the sign-in. This looks way pretty. You can actually log in with Google now. You log in, and everybody just seems super nice, super friendly, and it's just. It just seems to be a, a great social media platform that just seems to be building like crazy. So this one's been dropping though. I bought this one at around 1600 and then 2000 sats. It's at 1600 sats right now. If this coin were to hit around 1300 sats, then I'm going to go a lot, jump in a lot because I, I think this one will easily hit its all time high of 2500 sats. I don't think there's any doubt about this. I'm hoping that this coin will ret make returns like a BQX. It'll be like a BQX 2.0. That would be amazing and I, I would love it. I kind of messed up a little on that coin and I, I regret it, but can't live in the past. Thanks everyone for watching my video. These are my coins to look at while we're in this bearish market that might happen until November, which don't get scared, but get excited. The longer it is, the more time you have to invest. We're going to look back at this point and be like, God, I wish I had more time or more money to invest. Just think positive, set your alarms on Blockfolio and be ready to buy. If it's in the red, you don't have any money, just turn off everything, come back to cryptocurrency in a couple months and, and see where it's at. Thanks everyone. Like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.